Hi, this is Lilin, and I'm the director of the music video Maybe, um, which is a song by Erica featuring Umar. And I'd like to say a warm hello to everyone at the 11th Mumbai International Short Film Festival 2022. Um, so Erica, the um, singer and a writer of, of the song, she approached me early this year and said she really wanted to make a music video um, for maybe for her album launch. And I had first heard the song a few years ago when Erica acted in um, a short film that I had made. And um, she, she let me hear the song and I loved it so much. And I said, Erica, if you ever want to do a music video, let me know. So three years later, <laughs> she asked me and I was ready to make good on the promise. And the song really uh, speaks to me. I, I think it has something, you know, sad and melancholic to say, you know, it's about um, love that's in transition and relationships that change, but she has such a hopeful, graceful approach to it. And that was what really struck me about the song, that there was not... Um, um, there was not a tragic bone in it, <laughs> you know, like it, it was really saying that it's it's okay when relationships change, when things evolve and somehow grace and love can still remain um, in, in, in some form. So I really took that and um, wanted to create um, a narrative, a music video that, that could encapsulate what the song um, says. So the challenge of making um, any project that's on a low budget is uh, always how do we get, um, you know, still get the best effect um, for what the song needs, what the story needs. So um, for me, I, I approached it by being more prepared. So I took pictures of the locations and, you know, I videoed some scenes on my mobile phone and I cut it together and, um, you know, discussed it with Erica. And after which we had to figure out the casting because originally it was supposed to be, the song was kind of more targeted at people that were, um, I guess, Gen Z's, people around Erica's age. And I felt that the song had a much more universal reach than that. So I wanted to feature... Um, an older couple, I wanted to feature, um, you know, another couple that was not necessarily in the demographics that um, Erica was considering at that time. And um, I'm really glad she was open to it because I felt that it really enriched the music video. And I'm so proud of the actors that we got and they really put their heart, you know, into the performances and, and, um, they really understood the song and when we talked about the song and what it meant and I asked each of them to draw on their own personal experiences, I think that made it a lot more um, intimate for them and a lot more personal for them as well. And I think that's it, you know, really when you approach any project is how do you get the entire team to come together to understand the emotional core um, of what you're trying to do. To any aspiring music video uh, directors out there, I would say, um, you know, if you fall in love with a song, go for it. Even if it's um, your neighbor singing it, uh, an up and coming band, uh, you should be so fortunate to work with, um, you know, a well-known band. I would say it's it's just a joy. Making music videos is, is a real joy um, because, you know, you really have the 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 artistry and the framework of the song to help you along with the narrative. And it's just about creating a narrative that's going to enhance the song. And if you have the luxury of, um, you know, in my case, it was very collaborative and Erica was very open to my ideas. You, um, you know, you interpret the song for yourself and, you know, um, work with um, the musicians to create, um, something that is um, of your vision and also of theirs and and 
but most importantly, I think is um, when everyone comes together and they have, um, you know, they understand the emotional core um, of, of the song. And once they understand that, I, I think it really makes the production process um, much more special, much more, you know, much smoother. And I would also say pre-visualization is important and um, prep as much as you can. Um, and I would say particularly on, on a project that is of a low budget. I know some people take the attitude of like, well, it's a low budget, you know, I'm just going to do, you know, what I can. And sure, you know, I, I, I can understand that. But I think when you don't have the luxury of budget or a lot of manpower, even more so, I think as the director or creator, you you need to know what you you want to tell. And you need to be a bit more precise because time and money is not on your side. Um, and, you know, in my case, I was very fortunate because, um, you know, I had these wonderful actors um, that got involved in the project and we had these really great locations and a really lovely small team that came together and a wonderful cinematographer in Jolina. So I, I think everything just, just came together so nicely. I wish everyone at this year's Mumbai Shorts International Film Festival a wonderful festival. I'm sorry I can't be there in person and hope to meet uh, everyone one day.